Hey guys, how's it going? Ivano here and today I have some gameplay for you guys, which also is an example of why pre-made versus pre-made queue simply would not work in this game. It is a game where we are defender in Voidstar, playing in a four-man pre-made, we don't have a tank and then we get matched with four other random players on our team. And as you will see in a second, we run into another four-man pre-made from a guild that we have played a couple of times. Let's say we have a bit of a history, they usually play Rapside, but they have flamed us before for you know, playing in a pre-made, even though they basically do the same all the time, which I find a bit ridiculous, to be honest. And you know me, I'm never someone to start drama, but if someone starts drama with me, I always like to have fun. So this is exactly what we're doing in this game. So yeah, as we're running into the match, you can see they have a balance sage and what looks like a gunslinger focusing me. And I think there's another sentinel in their pre-made. And they do have a tank who I think was not pre-made. But nevertheless, the team setup looks very solid. We are playing two melees, so we should be at a disadvantage here. And I think I do end up dying a couple of times, but you can see from the HP, they have clearly marked me. Of course, they know this YouTube channel and they're trying to kill me here, which, you know, they succeeded a couple of times and that's okay. I don't mind that. But then again, if you talk trash, you also need to be able to take some damage. So we're doing that here versus Ice Queen. We have her, of course, marked. We're communicating in Discord. I had to mute the sound because the flame was a little bit, shall we say, not compatible with YouTube's community guidelines. Anyway, I go down here in a second and you can see the fight playing out. But yeah, I wanted to do a short intro because this is a great example of why pre med versus pre med queue would not work. Because yeah, these guys are getting farmed and then they end up rage quitting, even though they are attacker and void star, so they should have a big advantage. I was a little sad because I think it's kind of low to leave your teammates hanging like that and rage quit. But yeah, you, you, you cannot have a pre-med versus pre-med queue with people like that. Because, you know, once you beat them once or twice, and if there is a clear skill gap between the teams, then they will simply keep rage quitting. Because I guess some people only like to stomp on noobs and pre-mates, whereas other teams actually like to play against pre-mates, you know, like us. Even if that means you die a couple of times and you might not win all of the games, that is also part of PvP. So yeah, this game goes on for a while. And I think at this point we kill the Sage one more time. I'm not sure if that's where they rage quit. So yeah, fast forward a little bit. We kill the pre-made Sentinel one more time. And here it looks like the Sage has already rage quit. And now you get the message, the war zone will end in 30 seconds unless more players joined. So the whole pre-made left the war zone. Uh, it's a bit pathetic if you ask me. It's not really what you should do, leave a war zone if you a pvp -er. Because now the team is really screwed. I mean, you can say what you want against pre-made versus solos. But if you're on a pre-made and then you leave because you get farmed, uh, and leave your four solo players to fight versus the pre-made by themselves, then yeah, you're not really part of the solution. You're more part of the problem, if you ask me. So if anyone from this rage quitting pre-made is watching, maybe let's play some arenas, 4v4, have some fair fights. I would appreciate that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.